Welcome back. This worked last time, so it'll definitely Welcome work back. this time. We got this. Dude, you have the high ground. They can't win. I know, dude. Anakin hey, fucked question. that up. I got a really good question. Ah, I get fucked. Do you know why he did that, by the way? Did what? Why he tried to, like, jump over Obi-Wan? Because he's an idiot. Well, yeah, but... It's uh, the same move that he pulled on... Dude, go in the fucking cellar. Don't try, don't don't be a Rambo. Be Rambo. <laughs> 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 Let me in. <laughs> no, so it's the same move that Darth uh, Obi Wan used to defeat Darth Maul. That's why, and Anakin knew that's how he beat Maul. So he he thought that's he, weird. Uh, he thought he tried on Obi Wan. Didn't work. And Obi Wan knew that shit was coming. That's why he was like, "Don't do it." Oh, that's why he's like, "Don't do it." Yeah. What an idiot. Because he was going to copy Dar what he did to Darth Maul, bro. That's yeah, it's a job some Star Wars knowledge. That's yeah. fucked, man. He was going to kill, like... I just think it's fucked up that, like, he, he like, successfully kills fucking Obi-Wan and just doesn't feel bad about it. Who? Anakin. Well, no, because through his eyes, the Jedi were evil. But, like... Yeah, but then he, like... Like, how do you think he feels, like, in episode six when he realizes that his whole life's a fucking sham? Oh, no, uh... Yeah, like... Tell apparently, me. like, when he was dying... Obi-Wan came to, like, visit him in, like, through the forest or some yeah. shit. And he's like, I'm so sorry, I'm a dick. And Obi-Wan's like, ah, oh, it's fine, dude. You you know, you just got played, like, hardcore. So, uh, I'm gonna teach you how to be a forest ghost. And he's like, but Obi-Wan, I killed the younglings. And he's like, look, dude, just is fucking... This, is any of this canon? <laughs> just fucking listen to me, I'm gonna teach you how to become a forest ghost. Is any of this canon? Yeah, it's in the book for Return of the fucking Jedi, dude. Really? Yes. The novelization of the fucking Return of the Jedi. Is that still canon? Yes. So I'd ask. Yeah, fuck, still, fuck still me, canon. dude. Jeez. Please? Can I? <laughs> no. Oh. Saving myself. Dude, have you ever used a program? Uh, it's a streaming program. It's called um, Diz? No. You, you never used it? No. Oh. Uh, 360 no scope. I heard, it's, I heard it's pretty good. I heard it's a pretty good program. Yeah, fuck you. Who the fuck? What the fuck? Whoa, oh, my, oh god. my god. Sorry, I lived. People, um, I lived. I lived. It's fine. Least? No. No, nah, right. dude. I somehow miraculously lived dude, without Dude, what if you crouching. like crouched underneath there and there's like a bag of potato chips? Like, mm, I'll just take... <laughs> I'm gonna take one of these There's guns. like this, one potato chip in it. This pistol is borderline useless. Um, duh. Ooh. Never Fucking mind. Dirt. I want this dude. It reminds me of my days back on the block. <laughs> Let's go. Man, the, fuck being quiet, tough. man. In the tough town, of, <laughs> come get me. In the tough town of Rockford, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. And the, and the streets of Chicago. Yeah, dude. Reminds me of the. Dude, hood. watch out. There's dogs that run up and get dude, you. Dude, that's fine. Dude, look at my Mac. My Mac Ten, dude. Not afraid of no damn dogs. It's not a Mac Ten, is it? I don't fuck. It's is a Mac it, Eleven. Is that what's called? Yeah. For real? Oh shit! <laughs> I told. I wasn't get lying. Uh, Animal cruelty, dude. It just, ah! Ah! It just wanted a hug, dude. You said, oh. oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, Price. I'm just goofing around, uh, just just playing around. Uh, those were those were blanks, uh, right? Uh, oh, 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 oh! Dude, I'm watching like a master at work right now. Dude, it's a masterpiece. It's master of the craft. You craft. Move. Man. Dude, have you ever thought about what the plot for Star Wars would be like if Anakin liked sand? <laughs> like, what if he liked sand? Would he have become evil? You think? No. I think the plot would have been... Nobody that likes sand is evil, dude. Look at Jimmy Buffett. I think it would have turned he out... He loves sand, and is he evil? No. No. No, you're right. I, I just think the plot would be totally different if, if Anakin liked sand. Do you like sand. Jimmy Buffett? I don't know. Why do all old people like Jimmy Buffett? It's a good question. Just like, why do all hippies love fucking Tom Petty? Or Grateful Dead. Ugh. <laughs> I feel like Grateful Dead's just Look, a bunch of noise. all I'm saying is, I don't think Tom Petty deserves two whole fucking days to a music festival all to himself, okay? I don't think Tom Petty... I think he's good. I don't think he's... I want to see the Chili Peppers. I don't think he's that good. All like, right? I'll fucking come up here for the Chili Peppers, dude. Will you? Yeah. Yeah? I want to see the fucking Chili Peppers. Yeah! You want to see the Chili Peppers? Yeah! Not the Red Hot Chili Pipers. I want to see the actual oh, Chili Peppers. Oh, come on. Pipers. You know you want to see the no, Red Hot Chili No, fuck the Chili Pipers. Remember how excited me and you were? Yeah, I know, because I thought... I said Peppers, and I got to the goddamn show, and I said... <laughs> and me and you were Chili like... Pipers. Me and you were like, what the, fuck, what the shit? fuck? Was that... Dude, I went with you for that shit. Yeah, because we thought it was... I thought it was the Peppers. Watch the shit. Turns out it was the fuck fucking Red Hot Chili Pipers. Who the fuck are they? And why the fuck do I care? They play bagpipes. They're really good, dude. You play bagpipes. What can you do? Yeah, so can uh, fucking Satan. 
<laughs> the devil's you know who You know who else is really good at bagpipes? <laughs> Satan. And, uh, I don't know, a guy named Stalin. Dude. Oh, yeah, I was watching this documentary. <laughs> Do you know that one, like, Beat Talica? Yeah, Beat Talica's the coolest. I remember, like, was Beat it? Talica? Then we got stuck going to fucking the Whalers. I don't know, do I look like a fucking pothead? Dude, we were, how long? We weren't even there that long. That's where we came up with our band name. Oh, yeah, dude. Ass to... Ass no, to was, face, uh, face full, face full of, ass. of asses. Yeah. yeah, if we ever started a, a band, we were well, dude, doesn't face full of asses. Like, dude, we like walking through that big fat black guy was like fingering dude, that uh, chick. Like, Oh, yeah, dude. That was insane. We were trying to leave. We were just like, what the fuck? Like, dude, please. Stop rubbing Was that the, the day outside? that it fucking just rained like all day? Yeah. Dude, you got murked hardcore. Oh, I was watching this documentary the other day. Dude, did you know that the Nazis met these Nordic-looking women from with inside? They they came from inside the Earth. What? I don't know if you know this, but uh, no, the Earth is hollow. Shut the fuck up. And the Nazis met these uh, these alien beings that lived within the Earth, uh, now known as the Aryans. And basically, they supplied the Nazis. With UFOs, in which to, uh, in which, in order to like, take over the world, so they can bring the surface. They like they knew the paths to go within the Earth that like openly open like every couple hundred years or whatever, and that there was a mission to go to Antarctica. Uh, like a U.S. general was going to go to Antarctica and uh, capture the UFOs from the Germans so that Allied forces could use them, but it was a failed operation. They have documents. According to this documentary that I watched, they have proof that the Nazis had UFOs in their arsenal. I forgot that I was back on the block. They also, uh, <laughs> back on the yeah, block. fucking run. They also, uh, they also stored, like, a bunch of some, uh, UFOs deep in the ocean that they could- Ah, only, you fucking prick! They could only access from the U-boats. Real dude, it's a real. What thing. were you watching? <laughs> where, where did you watch this? I was on YouTube. Stop. <laughs> Credibility's all gone. And I googled- there's this thing that I've been getting on my ads called Gaia, and they had a, a documentary about how the Nazis teamed up with the, the Aryans who live in the Hollow Earth. And how there's like seven pyramids that are built on there. There's like, the seven pyramids, including Atlantis, by the way, Atlantis, the lost city of, the lost city of Atlantis, you know Atlantis, the city that doesn't exist, <laughs> the lost city of Atlantis. Yeah, go on. Uh has a pyramid on it that's one of these uh, power cores that uh, they use to get the energy for in order to unlock the the entrance to the hollow earth. And me and me are watching and we're like, meanwhile, in reality, none of this shit ever happened. And we googled the guy who was doing it. Real professor. Real doctor. Really? I don't know how he got his fucking degree. Dude, but holy uh, shit. Somehow but he he's the it. only person that knows about this. Well, no, they had, like, six other people in this okay. documentary. so there's, like, six people There were, total. like, seven crazy people who believe this shit. While everyone else is, like, stationed in reality. <laughs> what would you do if that shit was real? If what? That they're fucking, like, the Nazis had UFOs and shit? Yeah, I mean, he was really into the occult. Like, it would make, it could happen, right? I mean, I guess. I mean, uh, well, he's like, we know for a fact that there are buried UFOs in Antarctica. I'm like, okay, that's why we found them, right? It's only been, I don't know, what? Well, I mean, if they, like 70, 80 you, you years. You know, like if, since they, World did, War if they did find them, like we would never know about it. Oh, yeah. For sure. I mean, legitimately. Not saying this shit's real, but I'm definitely not ruling it out. As far as like aliens go. I'm afraid of aliens, dude. So funny. Have you ever told your story about why you're afraid of aliens? No. So why are you afraid of aliens, dude? Dude, because I got to. What's up with your fear? Straight of up, the, dude. What's up with your fear of the gray men, dude? dude Straight up. On the platform I just watched, I watched too, men, too much, like like shit when I was a kid so I actually got really scared of being abducted like remember like History Channel would do like those like alien abduction documentaries and shit oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah used to watch Dude, a lot of those like super X-Files late at coming night. out bro I know which is ironic because I like all that shit but yeah, then like it doesn't weird. help either that like my mom's ex-husband knew I was afraid of aliens so like he got like a gray mask and then oh, like shit. grabbed me and like stuck me in a bag and tr- like pretended to abduct me. Yeah, I grabbed one of those stinger missiles, bro. And I was like... Gotta shoot down that heli. Like when I was like eight. Sounds so, like a cool guy. No. Sounds like a good guy. Good friend. No. Sounds like a good friend would do. No. So... Yeah, grab a stinger. I'm grabbing it, dude. Grab Drop a little my, my stinger. Uzi, Get those bee stings, really bro. 
So yeah, that's why I'm afraid of aliens. So oh, now you know. Cool. Wait, it's over there, the helicopter. I got him. Got it? Beep, 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 beep. Fire that shit, bro. No, oh. he's gonna shoot some flares, bro. You gotta get another one. You gotta get another one. He's too smart for you. He's like, huh. They'll never have another stinger just lying around. Meanwhile, there's like a crate of stingers right here. <laughs> what a fucking shooter. This game sucks. What? This game? It's a crate of... How convenient. Yeah, right? This game sucks ass. The game's better. This game is garbage! What? Black Ops 2? No. Oh, Ape Escape? Than that. Crash no, Bandicoot? Better. Better than all those games. Medal of Honor? Two Worlds. What? Two Worlds 2. What the fuck is that? Look it up. Two Worlds 2? Yes. Oh, I know what Two Worlds it's is. Terrible. Well, next time on Stay and Play, this helicopter goes down. Oh my god! Alright, let's save where we're at. What? Yeah, why?